Hello guys, welcome back. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got more spider mail from Stephen Millwood. Now this one I am really, really excited about. And um, without further ado, we're going to um, open it up. Now in here, this is a this is a spider that um, I'll be totally honest. Over all the years that I've been keeping and what have you. This particular um, genus of spiders have never really interested me. Um, and I can't actually say really why, apart from maybe their size, because they take up an awful lot of room. But for the last, um, last year, 18 months, I've had a real yearning to actually give them a go. I did have one years and years and years ago. Um, but I've stayed, I've stayed away from them up until now. And as you guys would have known, I had some pieces off of Stephen a little while ago, and um, he, actually, he happened to mention that he had this as well, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go, because I have got a real yearning to try and breed them. As you all know, I do like something of a bit of a challenge, and uh, they're not the easiest of things to, to breed. So um, we're gonna give it a go. Now what we got, Oh my god, what's going on here? Oh, he's a naughty boy. Oh my god. Well, we wasn't expecting any of these. Oh, an unknown baboon? That'll be interesting, won't it? <laughs> oh wow, look at these. Tile and black, golden baboon, chiller, chiller brackies. Sansaburi? Oh, bloody hell. Well, thank you so much. We will get into them in a moment. I've got nothing sorted for them. Now then, where's the one we're talking about? Here she is. Here she is. There we go. Can you read that? Now then, this is, as I was saying, a spider that I've actually not really taken too much interest in, but they've been itching at me. It's like a scratch that won't go, an itch that won't go away. And, uh, right, we're gonna, I, do you know what? I think we're gonna start with her. I need to see her. Um, and we've got some other bits there as well. Look at this, this is really exciting. Right, here we go. Now another reason um, you'll see that I don't keep much in the way of terrestrial stuff is I absolutely hate hair kickers. All them hairs get kicked up. Uh, years ago it never used to bother me, but the last few years I really do suffer with them now. So. I thought, what better idea than to get one of the worst hair kickers in the bleeding business and give that a go, eh? So here she is. Now, as you would have remembered in the last unboxing video, we are all a little bit in the air here at the moment. And uh, so I'm not a lover of these tubs, but this is what she's going in for now. So I can keep her in here. As you'll know, with the blondies, they are very... Um, moisture dependent they do like to stay in a humid environment and they do like a little bit of deep substrate as well so we're going to put her in here for now once we get the room sorted out then she will end up going into a full bioactive enclosure that's the plan um, but like most things they come up for sale sometimes before you're entirely ready to do exactly what you want to do so she's going to go in here temporarily as with these other bits because I've sort of ventured into some of the terrestrial stuff again, and I'm not really equipped entirely for it. So we're uh, with the room being changed, that's what we're gonna do. So then, I think we're gonna try and have a, let's try and have a, quite a close up look of her. Um, and we'll see how well behaved she is, shall we? All right, just take that off of there, nice and gentle. Oh my God. God, look at that. He 
Is that not a stunning spider? Well, Stephen, you've uh, surpassed yourself yet again. I must say that the, the spiders that I've had from Steve have been absolutely top notch, and this is no exception. Do you want to get a bit of light on that, or do you, do you think it'll work? We can try. She jumps out onto my arm. Oh my god, days, look at that. She is absolutely stunning. Oh, I am really taken with her. Oh my God. Well, this is going to be, this is going to be a project that um, I'm really looking forward to. I can't believe she's still sat there. Right, we're going to pop, pop the lid back on for the moment. That's it. Pop her in here. Um, try and do this in the best possible way without upsetting her. Are we ready? Yes. We are ready. Now then we want no hair kicking, madam. Remember, you are in the beastie room. There you go, she's just starting to move. Nice and gently does, what a stunning spider. Look at that. Get a close up of her. Oh my God. I am super impressed. Super, super impressed. Isn't she beautiful? Well, as you might have gathered, I am really, really excited. <laughs> I'm chuffed to bits with this. That is absolutely stunning. And notice there, we took our time there and uh, she left the box. She's, she's very well behaved. Someone did mention it actually on, one, on our last video about the, um, the spiders that come into, the, into the, the beastie room. They all know where they're going and they're all on their best behavior. Didn't she do well? Oh man. I am oh, I'm stoked with that, absolutely stoked. Right, oh dear, I'll, I'll see I'm gonna be backwards and forwards looking at her forever. Right then, now then, we've got another, another one here which will be a, an interesting, um, an interesting one as a future breeding project. Here we go, the Marshelli. Now apparently, Stephen did message me and said that uh, this young lady was um, a bit of a handful and um, not not the most well behaved. So um, we will see. I think. We will go straight in the box with this one because we've been pre-warned. And hopefully, hopefully someone would have told her that she's coming into the beastly room. Again, this is just a temporary enclosure until we can get ourselves totally sorted out. We'll see. Let's see what she behaves like. Make sure we got her the right way around, eh? There we go. Come on, sweet. 
Well, be calm, be nice. There you go. No need for that. We'll just let her get her faculties. There she is. Now you can see she's settling down. Now this is the, the rear horned, no, the straight horned baboon, sorry. Now being of the baboon family, they like it fairly dry. They do like a bit of substrate as well, but I'm hoping with this one that we can um, we can get her secure enough underneath the bark. And then um, she will be going into a, a larger enclosure once we get her permanent home sorted out. She's a very, very pretty, pretty spider. And she has got a little bit of attitude there, but nothing too much. I think um, most of what we've seen there is just her being a little bit jumpy. As you can imagine, she's just she's been cooped up in that box. And now, all of a sudden, she's been ejected from it. As you can see, she's not she's not displaying any any aggression or anything. We're not seeing any threat poses from her. Or anything else. Now she's actually found the comfort of the of the wood bark, the cork, the cork bark there. She's actually settled down now. Once again, a superb looking spider. Lovely condition. Wow. Right. Well, that's her. She's lovely. She is. Oh, look at that blondie. Right then. Now, we need to, oh, what am I gonna do with these? Um, oh, bloody hell. Uh. <laughs> okay. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a quick peep and see what we're looking at size wise oh this one's right at the top already oh, they're quite a good size this is the golden baboon I don't want it tearing out all right hold on let's get I need to get some things made up Oh, uh, what's going on? Whoops. Let me touch them. Right. What I'll do, and as you can see there, Generosity has caught us on the hop. Nothing there. What we're going to do now is we're literally going to just put um, a couple of little pots in now, just so we can ascertain exactly what we're dealing with. Now they'll be all right in these pots. Well, as a permanent home, they'd be okay, size-wise. But this is just enough to get them out of the box, so we can uh, we can see see exactly what we've got. And then tomorrow we can work them out properly. Right then, let's try again, shall we? He's peeking out. There he goes. We just oh, 
Oh, look at that. Very nice. Well, that's a golden baboon. Lovely. I can safely say we haven't actually got any of these, so um, that's spot on. Ah, this is the unknown baboon. That's an interesting one, isn't it? When you get an unknown, you don't quite know what on earth to expect. He do like to do these pots up. Oh, this one's actually here already. Oh, that's a big bugger as well. Behave yourself. Lost me grip. There we go. Look at that. Mm, so if anyone's got any ideas as to what this might be, drop it in the comments. It's a rather gorgeous looking spider. Very nice. Put that there. And you want that? Oh, a Thailand black. Here we go. At least this one's not actually on its way out before we start. Difficult to get a, get a clear image. There we go. Might be a bit better. Hmm. Look at these. Here, Chilabrachis Sazaburi. Right. Look at that, they're just waiting for us. Gorgeous spices, these are all such good sizes. Oh, you've done us proud here, Steve. That's one very quick spider there. Look at that. Look at them. Gorgeous. Right. Well, thank you very much. I am, um, yeah, so I'm blown away with those. The, these four, four freebies, wasn't expecting these, and um, they are such great sizes. I mean, these are past the difficult stage. These are, these are easy keeping now. This is absolutely lovely, gorgeous spiders. And once again, the, the adults, absolutely superb condition. She's on a move now. She's gonna have a little wander around, set up home. Should be an interesting one later on. So what we'll do is um, we'll get these these adult females that we've got, once they've all settled in, we'll get them molted out and then we'll be on the lookout for some males. And um, 
yeah, the next updates will be uh, hopefully some pairing successes. Uh, we've got a few bits in the pipeline at the moment. That blondie, why have I never had one of these for so long? That is absolutely stunning. I am gall. In camera, ladies, got a big smile on her face. That is a cracking spider. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to doing something with that. Right then, enough of that. Right, we're off now. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks again, Steve. If uh, anyone else sees him advertising, you've seen the stuff. Buy with confidence. This, this guy knows his stuff. He looks after his spiders absolutely wonderfully. These are stunning spiders. Really, really pleased. All right then. Don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon, guys.